Hello and welcome inside room 442 and the man to my right is Michael Singh and when he's in here you know we're talking Toronto FC and we have another transfer rumor. This time Federico Bernadeschi. He's, his name's been thrown around especially on Twitter at the moment. It's gaining some steam. What's the latest? Yeah, so what I can tell you about Bernadeschi to Toronto FC is that the interest is very much real from both parties. Um, this Italian international, one of, I'd say, probably one of the better players if he were to make the move to MLS, he'd be one of the better players in the league. And of course, TFC already have the Italian contingent that are coming in, and Crescito, and of course, Lorenzo Insigne. So I would say at this point, the talks are pretty much, I'd say, in an, an advanced stage. Um, it is a very real possibility that Bernadeschi ends up as a Toronto FC player come the end of the summer transfer window. Yeah, Bernadeschi, who was at Juve, is officially a free agent. He's being linked with some big clubs in Spain and Italy as well. So this is pretty huge, actually, being connected with Toronto FC with, obviously, Lorenzo Insigne about to make his debut on the ninth. Domenico Crescito, uh, just a prospect of thinking you have Insigne on one side, Bernadeschi on the right and Jesus Jimenez in the middle. How will he fit into the system? Yeah, I think he's, I mean, he's played a lot of different positions for Juventus uh, all over the midfield, central midfield at times, left wing, mm -hmm. and primarily as a right winger. And that's where I see him with Toronto FC. I see him slotting in seamlessly as Bob Bradley wants to play in a 4-3-3 formation. And with Insigne on the left, Jesus Jimenez up top, I see him slotting in seamlessly into that right wing role because there's not really much competition at that spot right now. So I think he gives Bob Bradley more of a player that he would like to to play with in that spot and honestly creates a pretty lethal counterattack for Toronto FC up top. But what does this say about Toronto FC's intent moving forward in the season? This is almost like a win now. These moves are win now moves, right? Yeah, that and also it sets him up better for, for next season because the idea would be he's 28 years old, so the idea would be to have him as a piece moving forward with mm -hmm. this club. So I think not only does it make them, sure, it could turn them into a contender this season, but for me that's that's icing on the cake. I think they just want to bring in a player that they know will be part of their, their future here and could contribute in a big way moving forward. Uh, his goal scoring record is a bit of a concern, I would think. Less than 10 goals and I think over 120 appearances for Juventus. Is that a concern for you if he ends up signing with Toronto FC? You know what? It, it isn't too much of a concern for me because, I mean, we've seen players in the past that don't really have the best goal scoring record overseas come over to, to MLS and their game fits well with the way that MLS plays. And I think that's the same way with Bernadeschi. I mean, he's a guy, if he gets out wide, his quality oozes. Um, great cross of the ball, yeah. has the ability to hit one of those, you know, splendid strikes. And I just think in MLS, he's going to be a higher quality than perhaps most players in the yeah, league. Yeah, these Italian players seem to work out Toronto <laughs> FC. So a lot happening for Toronto FC, a lot of moving parts. Uh, Carlos Salcedo being one of them. We'll talk about that later in the week. But make sure you check out Mikey Singh's writing at theparlay.com.